Rainbow Robot Play. Hello, I'm Gabe. And I'm Sarah. And we're still playing Minecraft. And I'm Needle, and I'm clawing all over everyone today. Oh no. She's, yeah, um... we've, we've she's gotten frisky since uh, since we've uh, cured her of her various <laughs> ailments. Standing on my chest. Oh no. Ow! I named her Needle because she's very sharp. Okay. Alright, if you want to take a nap there, that's fine. But you gotta stay put and don't pull my headphones out of my ears, please. Oh my god. This cat, by the way, is almost 15 years old. <laughs> and. Is just no. Oh, she got her claw cut in my shirt now. Come on, there we go. Okay, we are now disentangled. She did not stop the recording. She didn't hang up the phone, and I can still play Minecraft. So Yay. everything is fine. Uh. Anyway. So what are we doing? Uh. Well, you are working on trees, right? No, I'm still doing tree stuff, I think. Okay. My tree stuff's going super slow. Aw. Well, remember, we have lots of bones in the sorting system. You could turn into bone meal to grow trees faster. Work. Slow part is waiting for mutations to happen. Oh, yeah, I suppose. Well, um, you could capture... While you're waiting for mutations to happen, you can capture sheep and name them Jeb. Make them into rainbow sheep. In order to do that, I need more levels. Oh, okay. And I don't have any levels because when we tried to go get me some levels, I died. Yeah, that's right. So now I have no levels at all. Oh. Well, there should be some in the in the drum. Not a lot, but I put some in there at some point recently. I can't believe... Oh, she's sitting on my cell phone now. Yeah, it should be fine. Well, I'm going to go where... check on my laser drill. Okay. I can't believe I'm about to ask a question this dumb. Oh. But, uh. How do I go get more levels easily? Well, you could go to a roguelike dungeon. How does a girl find a roguelike dungeon? Well, I have a waypoint for one in the overworld here that I meant to explore, uh, but I haven't gotten around to, so you could go to that one if you want. Another dungeon? Underwater temple question mark. I think that's the one. Are you in the overworld? Uh, I am. Okay. Yeah, can you... Are you ready to add a waypoint? Uh, sure. Let's see what that's like. I'm at my waypoint screen. Okay, so, uh... The location? Okay. Are you ready for the location? Yes. Okay. X365. 365. Z, negative 128. Z, minus 128. Y, 65. Y, 65. And give it a name, Roguelike Dungeon, or something like that. Roguish Dungeon. Sure. And then see if you can get there and explore it. You know, bring, bring armor and stuff and stay at the top levels if you don't want to fight anything hard. Uh, but there will be spawners there, and if you don't destroy the spawners, then you could just farm them if you want. But if that's too boring, then you can explore and destroy the spawners or put torches on top of them. I usually put torches on top of them myself. There it is. Okay. Sweet. Thank you. How's it going, kitty? She's licking my arm. <laughs> and I talked to her, so now she's going to try and get back on my lap. No! Hi. You fatty patatty. Oof.
I'm hearing that noise. That noise? That noise that sounds like a weird computer beast talking to you. Is there uh, a floating little, uh, um, little sparkly brown thing following you around? Nothing I can see. Okay. Is there an Enderman? No. Okay, I don't know then. Um, beware, I guess. Beware! <laughs> Yeah, I'm talking about you. She knows what I'm Oops. talking about her. Ow. It is possible that this cat is purring so loud she can be heard in the microphone. So, I have copper ore and I have tin ore. And I have gold ore coming up soon. I think it's probably best to quadruple the gold ore if I'm going to quadruple anything. So, we'll just throw the copper and tin in here to get tripled. And as soon as we have some gold ore, we'll take it to the ore quadrupling area. also can uh, already start the reactor on what Yalorum we have just sitting around here. So that's good. And we have cyanite that we should put in here. Actually, it looks like we're going to have enough plutonium to do it, so we don't even need the Yalorum. Hey, the gold is getting quadrupled. Oh, I see the zombie. Yep, he's outside the fence. Indeed. I wonder if zombies can starve to death. Hey, some good old-fashioned adventuring for me. Hey, hey, hey. 
<laughs> oh man, remember, remind me never to kill a zombie while drunk. I found a little house here. Uh, are you in the Twilight Forest? No, I'm in the overworld. Are you in a swamp? No, I'm in the magical forest. I don't know. Maybe someone built a hut there. Maybe. It has a variety of partially used, used tools in it. It looks like it's a adventure house, though, because it has like, it has like moss stone and, and... Huh. It does not look like the kind of place someone, a player, would have built. Maybe such things spawn in the magical forest. I had not seen one before. Hmm. Outside of the Twilight Forest. I guess I'm going to need to build a hopper for input to this thing. Well, that's not entirely surprising. I think I'm going to build several hoppers. There's some other things I can use them for as well. I'm kind of currently waiting for stuff that if I just had a hopper set up to feed things into things, then I'd be fine. <laughs> this, this, like, floors made out of jack-o'-lanterns? Is this at the place I showed you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, see, maybe it isn't what I thought it was. It's smooth sandstone on the outside. There's bars in here. So I'd never quite seen a roguelike dungeon like this, but I didn't know what else it could be. Hmm. Does it have a spiral staircase down? It does. Okay, then it's probably a roguelike dungeon, just a different one than I had seen before. Well, someone's definitely been here. There's torches on top of the spawners. Oh, okay. Well, that's interesting. I guess someone's found it before. Uh, you can always break a torch and wait for stuff to spawn and then kill it. Yep. For experience. That appears to be a skeleton spawner. That's a zombie spawner. So I guess pick your poison? <laughs> yeah. There's definitely jack-o'-lanterns everywhere. I wonder if that's because it's October or... That was one of the things I noticed about it was that there were jack-o'-lanterns everywhere and that was different. Oh. So that was definitely the case when it when it was the first showed up. Ah Was that a good ah or a bad yep. ah? Yeah no that was that was good. Okay, cool. So now I can finally take some of this coal here. Coal ore that is. Feed it in and expect that it will eventually go through the enrichment chamber here. But it is already working on copper dust, which means there should be some eulorium dust in here. Excellent. So let me just stick the eulorium dust in here. Nope, this is working on that. Okay, there we go. Now all that'll get taken care of. No, we're still short one hopper. Is it possible to pick up spawners and set them down somewhere else? Oh, well, maybe the Porta spawner would do it. Let me 
see if I can find the description for it here. Porta Spawner. Mine Factory Reloaded. It requires another star, so it probably does move spawners, but it requires another star. You might could use frames that move stuff around, but it's not very easy. You'd have to like dig a big hole out to where you wanted it to be and move it block by block. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's what you want. There you go. Okay, hopefully it will work now. If we put this gold ore in here, yeah. Hey, hey. <laughs> Throw these in this hopper. Wait a minute. We've got a hopper here. That hopper we don't need. We got an extra hopper. Darn it. I should have just used this one, but I didn't know we had it. Hello? Where did you go? Oh, there we go. Picked it up. Okay, cool. Okay, and are you done? You're done with the tin, so we can put copper in you now. That's good. So, last time I was uh, exploring the Twilight Forest further, trying to flesh out the whole map of it, and I discovered that uh, climbing up the beanstalk is a real pain. Even when I put ladders up it, it's still a real pain. Hmm. So I'm going to build some elevators to go up the center of the beanstalk. Elevator, yay! Okay, looks like we can make eight elevators with what we have in the system. Okay, where is the middle of the beanstalk? Where we can look up and see the sky. Here we go. Is this it? Not quite. This. Is this it? This is weird. I'm looking straight up, but... Let us say it is here. Alrighty. So, if that is the bottom elevator at uh, y equals 36. Let's see if it'll do 20. So we'll go up to y equals 56. We need to make a waypoint here. New. Elevator. Save. Fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-eight, 
57 is here. Whoa! Damn it. D7 is here. Okay, cool. Uh, we just need some temporary blocks. Dirt works good. Elevator. Nope, it's too far away. Elevator. Do you work? Yes! Oh, no, actually, this is 53. Darn it, I thought it was 55. Kept misreading it. Let's see if it works at 54. It does. Okay. See if it works at 55. It does. See if it works at 56. It does. Okay, so that seems to be the limit. So, 37, 36, to 56. Oh! I just had it wrong. I was reading the wrong dimension. Okay, so it is 20 blocks. 36 to 56. Excellent. So that means uh, 76 should be the next one. Seventy-six. Yay, it works. This one should be at 96. Okay, now I'm at 96. And it works. Yay. And 17, so I'm one too high here. But that should be 116. Yes, 116. Yay. There's a beanstalk block in the way, but I don't think that matters for elevators. Maybe it does. Hmm. There we go. Okay, let's see if that fixed it. The sunset behind the rainbow forest sure is pretty. Nice. 116, right? Not 118. There we go. That fixed it. Okay, cool. This next one should be at 136. Four, thirty-five, one thirty-six. Okay, does it work? Yes, it does. Yay!
uh, 156 should be the next one. One fifty five, one fifty six. Mm, looks like there is beanstalk in the way again. Lots of beanstalk in the way, actually. I see what appears to be a wooden tower. That's probably another uh, top of a of a roguelike dungeon. Hmm. A different roguelike dungeon. Okay, one fifty-six. Yay! It works. Okay, that's one seventy-seven. Need to go down one. One seventy six. Does it work? Yes, it works. Wow. That is a very quick transportation system. I should see if I can make any more. This roguelike dungeon also has jack-o'-lanterns in it. Oh, okay, cool. I've never been in one like this, so this is this is new to me. It is different from the one that I explored earlier in the game, in the series. Oh, and we're at the top. So I guess we only needed to make one more. I suppose we could always just go up that high anyway. Six. And it works. Excellent. Okay. This may be the tallest thing in the Twilight Forest now. We'll see. Seems to work. Okay, I now have the ultimate gliding platform. Warning, warning, this video is almost over. Warning, warning, it's time to choose another one. This has gone on far too long, time to wake up and sing along. Warning, warning, this video is over now.